let's do an alt tier list okay ignore the character's base abilities to do stuff let's just do an alt tier list all right guys cassidy first off for alt tier list i mean it, 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 it's, it's either C or D. Okay, I think for D tier, it has to be like top five worst ults in the game. I'm looking at these ults. I think Death Blossom is better than High Noon. I think. Like, guys, I, I'm looking at these ults here. I can't think of a singular ult that's worse than High Noon. Even Riptire is better. Because, like, Riptire, you can, like, you make space. Or I guess you can make space with High Noon, too. But, like, I don't know. I'm scared, more scared of a Riptire than I am of a High Noon. It reloads his gun. Oh my god, here we are. Oh my god, we just full screened. Holy moly. Oh my. Wait, I'm professional. Look at the setup we got going on. All right, Diva Bomb next up. I think Diva Bomb, okay, in low elo, Diva Bomb is really strong. I, I don't know how to describe it without being rude, but low elo players kind of don't they they just kind of stand in front of the bomb. I think just because okay, I I'm thinking about this. Okay, in like gold how many people okay when, when i see gold games how many people die to diva bomb it's like three or four every bomb i see people die to diva bomb it diva bomb gets way too much value in low elo when we're talking about gold players we're talking about people that don't have hands yeah and then in high elo it's just a free remake it's just a second life if you if, if you do an oopsie doopsie use old you know body block using the bomb for a second and then you just remake all right, chat. I think I may put this. Okay, I considering if it was, if I was just considering high elo, I would just like maybe put it at C tier just because it's just a remake. But considering the fact that low elo players die all the time to diva bomb and it's like an actual threat in low elo, I put I might actually put it at B. I think like a low B would be good. Do we do we do we include the remake? I mean, I guess the remake actually. Oh, okay. Hot take. I think the remake is better than the bomb itself. I literally think the remake. I think Diva remake is better than bomb because I think I die more to remake than I do to Diva bomb. If the Diva has, if a baby Diva has remake, you cannot chase her into a small room. The remake gets stupid amounts of kills for no reason. Yeah, because like, okay, like, hypothetically, right? Let's say a Diva gets, let's say a Diva gets out popped out of the mech, right? And then you know she pops out and then starts shooting. She gets her ult really fast. People might not might not expect her to have ult and then just. Push her into a small room, get baited, and die. I think B is your safe. Next up, guys, Genji. And, uh, oh, yeah. We're not going to combo it. We're not going to do any combos. Just raw ults, okay? I want to talk from the perspective of high elo players and then low elo. I think high elo players or high elo Genjis, they typically just use the ult for like a 1v1 or to clean up a fight really quick. They use, bolt, they use ult. But low elo players, they try to use dry blade as just like a 1v5 like tool. I, I think Genji play nowadays is more like, it doesn't matter how good you are with blade. It's just a matter of how bad the enemy is with, how bad the enemy is as shooting you. Blade is very good at baiting out abilities. That is very, very true. But I don't know if that justifies it. Yeah, it kind of does get kind of walled by a few, you know, lamp. It's better, it is better than Cassidy's. Is it better than Diva Bomb? I would I would say it's better than Diva Bomb. But I can't, I, I, I can't put it in A tier. There's no way I can ever put that shit A tier. Okay, you know what? I'll put it in C for now. No, I'll put it B. I'll put it B, but I'll, like that. There we go. I think it's better than Divas, but I just don't think I can put it A. All right, Chad, next one, Hanzo. Do you guys remember Grav Dragon meta? Do you guys remember that? How the fuck was that ever a meta? Grav Dragon, my goat. I would actually argue D tier. I think, I think, I think Hanzo ult sucks. Okay, I think it's better than High Noon. Oh my god. No, these ults are so terrible. Okay, no. I actually think High Noon is better. Just be- Okay. <laughs> I think High Noon is better than Dragon. Because at least with High Noon, it does give you damage resistance. And you can live stuff in High Noon. But if you Dragon, that shit is just a cosmetic thing. It's just cosmetic. The most common time I see Dragon is someone using it off spawn. Yeah, exactly. Both are easy to dodge. I, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I just don't know which one is worse. I think I think for now, saying Hanzo is worse than High Noon. I think that's appropriate. Because at least High Noon, like, auto aims. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can, I can, I can see more more utilization from high noon than dragon ult. I, I, I just can't i just can't see it other way, other way around i think they're both still shit though so are we, are we satisfied with d yes we're doing the alt tier list guys in the alt tier list add a cosmetic tier we'll add that we'll add a cosmetic no i th i think we need a d tier d tier just looks clean all right guys next up tire rip tire hmm? I, I i'm not gonna look at you guys i'm gonna place it where i think it is 
and then we're gonna discuss, okay? I think Riptire is one of the strongest DPS ults in the game. Guys, let's think about it. It is an AoE one shot that can go across the map, and then not only that, it can ride on top of roofs. If you use it correctly and position well, it's you get lamp outs, you just wait out lamp, right? You get Susu out, you bait out TPs, and then you just fucking boom a backline. It is literally a team fight win. It's a team fight ult. There's no if you use it correctly, there's no counterplay. It's so easy to shoot. Big whoop de do. You have a good movement. That thing, Riptide. I don't give a. Rip tires is, is, is and it's easy to shoot. It moves so fast. It could go across the map. You could just if you there are spots in Overwatch that if you just use it around the corner, there's next to no counterplay. If you are good with Rip Tire, every time you have it is it like a team fight win. Not 80% of the time. AOE one shot that can go on roofs and create tons of space. I I can't I can't not put that any like it's better than Blade for sure. High B at least. You know what? I'm gonna put an A tier for the clickbait. <laughs> High B is fair. <sighs> Fine. All right, next up, guys. Beat. Lucio Olds. S tier. Okay, well, let me think about it. I think some criteria, like, that when you think about it, is not only in high elo, but also in low elo, and then also in tournament play. I think beat in, like, I think beat is great in every single category. It's good in ranked, it's good in high low, and then it's also good in ranked and in, in tournaments. A high A, low S. I would say low S, to be honest with you. Because, okay, oh, you know what? We, we can adjust things and move things around later. I'm gonna go ahead and say that Lucio ult is probably a low S because it has no counterplay, really. I mean, the only counterplay there is and what, the only counterplay that I'm aware of, like, was like back in like 2018, where it was like, oh no, was it even 2018? I think it was before that, where people would like use Primal on the Lucio when they knew the Lucio had beat and then bladed. So then the Lucio couldn't get the beat off. No comment. I think that was like about, that was like the only ever like counterplay there was to beat. It doesn't really get done nowadays because Lucio Winston isn't even meta anymore, but counterplay is kill or stun him. There's no counterplay really. That's like not reliable. Cause like the thing that Lucio's can do is that if they start, they can start beat on a lower elevation. And then since beat gives you a little jump and it, it, it sets off when he lands, you start Lucio ulting it lower and then jump into a higher surface to land. That's what you would do to make it go off really fast. So to consistently Ajax is not reliable. Also, yeah, wait, we didn't even consider this part. How fast do these ult charge? Wait, wait, I never even realized this. Wait, how fast do these ult charge? I think Lucia ult used to take a long time, but I think now it charges really fast. Or well, not really fast, but it takes time. Yeah, it's not like Warrior Coalescence, but it, it's pretty fast. It's faster than Blade. Yeah, let's just say, I'm, I'm gonna say med medium S. I'm gonna say medium S, because I if you're a good Lucio, you can get beat really fast. All right, is you can get it fast, is good in low elo is good in high elo is good in tournaments it has longevity and it builds fast i think i'm satisfied with s let's move on may may i mean it it's okay in is good in low elo it's bad in high range elo i would say in tournament it's good it's like medium and then like it builds sort of fast it's like medium build it takes a whole team to work around it in order for it to do good you know it's super situational. It's really, yeah, it's really hit or miss. But to be fair, if you hit one person in May ults, that person is as good as dead. If you hit one person, the enemy team has to use all the resources to save them. So worst case scenario, you zone out an entire area. Best case, or, you know, typically you just take a bunch of resources, but then the best case is like a team wipe. They get Suzu. Oh yeah, Suzu. Wait, yeah, I forget. Suzu in the game. Wait, yeah, I forgot. Wait, yeah, I forgot. Kiriko is in this game. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I know I have to activate Windows shit, dude. Whatever. Suzu may be the best old thoughts. You know what, chat? I've been saying this for so, for so long, bro. You know what we need in Overwatch? We need we need, we need some funky ass emote. Like what? We need some funky ass like ults, bro. Imagine Fortnite. Okay, imagine Elaria ult, but it was a Fortnite boogie bomb. Like that shit would be f hilarious. No, yeah, I think I think I think saying May is actually no. I'll say low B. I would say low B. I think I think May is I think it's better than Diva ults. I would say May May ult's probably better than Diva ults. No. No, I would say it's worse. Is it C? It forces everyone that gets hit to start emoting. Yeah, exactly, bro. The thing, okay, the thing is like high rank players find value with all of these characters, ults, but with male ults, it's written in the 
in the environment of ranked where the enemy team has hands, it's really hard to get consistent value with May ults, and I don't see it really ever. And also, May ult just has so much counterplay, like this uh, Suzu, for example. I just can't see May being like higher than Devo Bomb because at least Devo Bomb gives you the value, the consistent value of remaking that can have that doesn't have counterplay. Blade is really really good at resource bait, and then Junk is just. It's a one AOE one shot. So I can't I can't see anything. I can't see it anywhere else. It's good to counter ults though. That's true! God I didn't Wait, that's so true! Wait, I didn't even think about using it defensively. Wait, I but I think that I I I think we can clump that into like tournament play because using May ult defensively to counter like let's say a rush is like typically like a high like a tournament play move. Like you really don't do that that much. And defensive ults, what are we pros? Yeah, exactly. So I think I think for now I'm gonna keep it there. But that's a good point. Either way, next up, Mercy. I know I might get hate for this, but it's gotta be said. Mercy sucks ass. All right, Mercy might be the worst support in the game. And when I say might, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure Mercy is just the worst character in the game. And I know I'm a bash with one trick. I'm very aware. However, if you, put, if you have a Mercy in your team, it's like an automatic loss. She doesn't have any good utility outside of res. Damage boost just does is just not as good as Baptiste utility or Zenyatta or Kiri's off angling ability. I mean, like, realistically, what can she do? This, this I'm not even talking about her ult yet, by the way. The only thing she has going for her is res. But unless you have a billion, like, if you, unless you have a bajillion hours in Mercy Parkour, you're just gonna get your res shit on. So she can fly, she's so OP. Okay, chat, I don't know about you guys, but I think Overwatch players are now good enough to aim at Valk, even when she is moving. Like me personally, like I'm that guy. I can aim at, if, if a Mercy is Valking and she's like that, I can aim at that. I'm not gonna lie. And I think that's not even just me. I think that's like a lot of players. But either way, guys, we're just gonna talk about the ultimate, okay? The character sucks, but let's think about the ultimate, okay? What the hell does the ultimate provide? Group damage boost, group healing, and then very, very good mobility, which allows you to get more reses off of. And then what? What after that? Like self regen? So basically, it, it can allow your team to do more damage. You can do more healing to more people. And then you also have very, very good self sustain. That's all. That's cool and all. However, window. Um, Kitsune. Uh, coalescence. All those ults I just mentioned are better. So from the support guide, Rally is better. But can window slay like her? All right, ready? I'm moving Hanzo up from the cosmetic category and I'm moving Mercy into there. I just, I can't justify it. I can't justify it. Like, okay, maybe I can't actually just do this, but like, I, I can't justify Valk as opposed to like, I think supports have some of the best ultimates in the game. But then when I just look at Valk, it's just like, I, I barely even notice it. Uh, it's an ult. I think, okay, I honestly think, I think the, like, I think like Roadhog Hook is better than Valk. This might be another flats take. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. All right, chat. Next one is Pharah. All right. I might have an, as I might, I might have a fing crazy opinion here. All right, but ready? I think Pharah is B tier. Some people might say it's the worst character in the game, or the worst ult, in the, or the worst DPS ults, but I think when used appropriately, it's like the same as Tyre. Hypothetically, let's say if the enemy team was pushing through a choke and you just stay above the choke and just ult the back line, it's basically Reptire. It's like they blow up so fast. And yes, there's Diva Matrix, there's Sigma Grass, right? There's, you know, shooting her however if done properly two three like i see i see two k's three k's very 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 consistently and then also if you consider the fact that the only way to counter it is just to know she has barrage that's ult tracking do you think low elo players are in an ult track b main finally using his brain cells guys no i just think that this i, I think this ult's good in the right hands give it c tier if i put junk at b tier i can't i can't not justify barrage which effectively does the same thing as junk rat i can't i can't not put these two right next to each other because they they essentially do the same thing they just blow up a team before they can react the thing is tyrus just barrage with extra safety all right chat boys and boys and girls look at the next hero boys look at the next hero boys ready reaper not only did he recently get buffed but he has two guns <laughs> oh my we are so bad two guns s the best old in the game not even close holy alpha sigma tier <laughs> no chat okay seriously 
what, what where do we think it is where do we think it is yep that's right i see no oh wait actually my and actually okay wait okay unironically call me crazy i think it's actually like a no i think it's actually s tier i think it's actually an s tier is an s not even a joke no for real i i'm okay i'm thinking about this reaper might like in low elo i think this character is like already insane and then now with this ult con like controller players like that can't that, that, take, that take three seconds to turn around they just get blown up by reaper ult i'm like 90 percent sure people use blossom when they're from the low and stuff and it's so weird chat i'm pretty okay on a rocket i think this is like low ass i think okay and in tournament play actually chat believe it or not in tournament play reaper ult can be good ready guys reaper ult is one of the best shield breakers like in the game i'm not even joking i actually think reaper is actually insane as shield break because the thing though the way okay how okay how, how do you counter reaper ult okay obviously with matrix if you're the other way is like with shield and like lamp reaper ult destroys lamp right and the more people there are behind the shield the more damage it does to his shields. And then if you combine that that fact that it is a really good resource burner, if you combine the fact with the team that if they can like actually work around it in tournaments, it actually won't be bad. How many relevant tanks have shield now? There's Sigma and there's Romantra. Okay, yes, I understand there's a bunch of counters. In low elo, it's a low elo people don't counter it. In high elo, people don't work with it. In tournament play, people counter it but also work with it. So I think that in low elo it gets good value. In high elo, it gets no value. But in tournament, it gets mediocre value. If you combine that fact with the fact that it's just so dominant in low elo i think it has to be okay, maybe not s maybe maybe a tier yeah i think a tier is fine i just think like it's just so dominant in low elo i can't like ignore that i think chat is that are we good a tier are we happy a tier looks good all right understood chat reinhardt or, or I should say, Ryan Fart. It can get blocked by shields. It can get canceled. Even if you do hit it, it's just CC. So it's not actually guaranteed damage. There's counterplay. Ryan doesn't deserve a tier at all. Yeah. Wait. Okay, chat. I have a question. Is Ryan is is Earth Shatter worse than Valk? Is it is it worse than Valk? It actually might be. Because Valk is guaranteed value. Ryan Shatter is just, not only is it shit, but you can get solo Shatter. Oh, that's true, I guess. I guess if you Shatter someone right in in front of you i guess it can get value i mean it's true that you get ult fast like it's true that you can get shatter fast but all right chat i'm done i'm putting a d tier for now i think it might be worse than no <sighs> is it worse than high noon no i'm putting a c tier i think mm, it, mm, i think okay oh, right there i think that's good no wait there i think that's good i think high noon is better than shatter c tier gur i mean i just can't see it i, I just can't see it being good because even low even low elo players like can deal with shatter i think i think that's about where it's gonna go all right chat ready next up roadhog roadhog okay in low elo it's good in high low it's good but in tournaments it sucks okay ready the thing that is interesting about roadhog's ult is that he can use hook mid hole mid ult right and so if the roadhog is good he ults right breaks shields then hooks the tank which cancels every single matrix in this game except for arissa's and then kills the tank there is no more counterplay up to that level other than just dodging hook it's also a f ton of damage i know hog himself gets hard countered however there are hog players that can understand they can deal with it I, I would argue that Suza just doesn't even deal with with Hog, with the whole Hog, because the ult lasts longer than the duration. I, I just don't think Suza is good into a whole Hog. If you get people in a room. Yeah, see? I think there's places where you can get like insane value with Hog. Can't Suzu it equal S tier ult. You know what's funny? That's true. Okay, you know what? Chat, where should I go? Okay, is it better than my ult? Okay, I would say, I would say it's, I, I would say it's kind of the same level as my ult. It's B tier. Oh, it's B tier. Highest damage output in the game plus knockback. It's true. It is it just by pure damage stats. It actually might. That's that very true. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say B tier. I think it's a B tier ult. I, okay. Most of the ults are going to be in B and C tier just because that's just how like distribution curves work. Most of them will be there, but we might need to move some things around. Okay, chat. Ready? Ready, chat? Soldier visor visor is c zoning tool it's just aimbot okay chat two bucks ready with the recent hitbox changes why would you need soldier ult why, why would you need soldier ult if you just use the character you basically already have visor it's like in low elo 
if you flank with visor, it's a, it's a 5k. Like, I can't see this ult. Every okay, every time I see a flank visor in low elo, it just kills everyone. Oh, wait, you know what? There's okay, guys, there's only one thing that visor does that makes it like a little bit better than just like normal. And it gets rid of the fucking hit scan nerf. I'm gonna go ahead and put this C tier. It's better than high noon, but I think it's worse than the whole hog. And you know what? This area needs to be filled, so I'm putting it C tier. Are we happy? No. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Chat, next one. Symmetra. All right, I might have another contr controversial take, guys. Guys, what do you guys think Sim is? I might have a controversial take with this one, guys. Sim is crazy good. Okay, chat. Is it S, A, B, C, or D? A, A, B, or C, A, or A, or C, 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 A, 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 no counter to her. All right, chat, ready? I have my opinion. I think this ult is just as good as beat. A 5,000 HP wall divider, right? That charges fast is insane. It counters Sojo. It counters Window. It counters a good part of Kitsune. You can save yourself from things like Grav. You, the enemy team, if you put it sim wall, the enemy tank cannot push through the wall. So if you need to, you can just put it down and you say, hey, this is our side of the map. That's yours. Yes, it is 5,000 HP. The only way you break it is if you whole hog with like Kitsune or Window. Then you can break it re in a reasonable amount of time. But how often does that happen? Guys, if you're ever in a losing situation, TP onto point with sim wall, throw the sim wall up, and then put turrets on it and force points. How can you lose? You're getting at least two ticks. I think in low elo, sim wall does not get any value. I'll be honest with you, low elo players do not know how to use the ult, but high elo players, and then tournaments, high elo gets crazy value, and then in tournament play, even more. It is insane how much value that ult gets. I actually, to be honest with you, I would if if someone told me that the win percentage with sim wall in in tournaments was 80%, I would believe that. I could easily believe that every time they use sim wall, you have an 80% chance of winning that fight. I I completely can see it. All right, I'm playing that shit S, -S tier, and there's nothing you guys can say that to, to convince me otherwise. All right, next up, Torb. Torb ults the best. One of the best zoning ults in the game. All right, chat, I have another controversial take. I have another controversial take, chat. If you activate windows, guys, shut the flip up. All right, guys, ready? I think that Torb ult is S tier as well. This ult does so much fucking damage to armor. Not only that, it walls things like Orisa, Bob, Window, Kitsune. If used properly as well, it can, it can zone Rally. It can zone Tree. It zones Bastion. Like, this ult is crazy. And then, like, in low elo, people will just randomly walk into it. And Suzu doesn't counter it. Okay, chat. How many ults could you say directly counter Kitsune? Kitsune is one of the best ults in the game. And Torb ult directly counters it. And also builds at the same rate. I just can't see it. I can't see any other thing than S. Oh, yeah. Torb is amazing with with and against Mago, too. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't think about that. He's a high A tier, not S. You can suck my balls. All right, chat. Ready? Next up, Tracer. Pulse Bomb. You guys are saying C tier? What? How dare you guys say C tier? This is, okay, we're gonna, okay. Tracer herself is one of the best characters in the game. Actually, I would say is the best DPS of all time. Ready? In high elo, it gets insane value. Just like, if Tracer has Pulse Bomb, you can consider that fight one, all right? Low elo, you motherfuckers just run to that Pulse Bomb. Like, low elo players, they see a post, like the enemy Tracer will miss the Pulse Bomb, but then like your enemy Kiri is gonna be like, Ooh, something shiny. <laughs> Gotta go pick this one up. Oh, you know? And then tournaments? Entire, there's so much counterplay in tournaments and entire strategies are set around post bomb. And then, yeah, it charges, yeah, you can get, you can easily get a post bomb every fight. Grab post, post bomb, goes bananas. Exactly, man. I just can't see. Oh yeah, I think, I do have Torbolt above Tracer ult, don't I? It does, like, Tracer does combo, but I don't, I don't really, I don't really see post bomb combos that much. Yeah, but either way, I think Tracer ult is just insane. Okay, chat. Hmm. Widowmaker, huh? Hmm. Chat, what do you guys think Widowmaker is? Can't get Suzu to S. All right, chat. Ready? Let me structure this Widow. This, let, let me, let me, let me spell this out, this ult out for you, okay? It is 15 seconds of wall hacks not only provided you just a sniper but to the whole team if you have wall hacks do you know how hard it is to lose your duels if you use widow ult before an engagement your team will win every single mechanical 1v1 this ult is an s tier not s tier but a tier ult this ult literally is cheating for 15 seconds not just you but for your whole team 
I cannot justify this hero. That ult. Okay, ready? Wait, 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 wait. Actually, let's do the breakdown. Let's do the breakdown. I'm sorry. In low elo, it gets value. In high elo, it gets value. In tournament play, it gets value. All three of those without counterplay. Completely counter somber. True. It does counter somber, but that's not even one of the things I'm even thinking about. I'm just thinking about the fact that it gives your whole team walls for like 15 seconds. And then not only that, but because your whole team has walls, how the f are they gonna lose at any duels? Like imagine a Q, Q, like Kiri 1v1, but one of them has walls. Like who did, who's gonna win? The counterplay to Widow ult is hiding behind a corner for 15 seconds. Yeah, exactly. Bro, at least knock it down to B. Okay, but the thing is, uh, in B tier, all of these had counterplay. This still doesn't. The Widow Widow walls is guaranteed value. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, but okay, it's a, at, at most low E tier, but A tier, I think. All right, we're gonna move on. Primal. I mean, when Winston is meta, Primal's good. When Winston is meta, Primal's a good ult. However, nowadays, shit is just, I mean, this character, uh, this ult is just so bad. It's good in tournament play, because you have a whole comp like playing around a Winston, but in ranked, it's just a thousand ult charge, it's just a thousand HP worth of ult charge going to the enemy team, bro. It's just so bad. Yeah, I mean, that ult is just, the only way, okay, wait, let me think about it. In low elo, it doesn't get any value. I think, I think primal in low elo is actually like a throw. Cause like, you just give the enemy team ult charge. In high elo though, it's pretty good. And in tournaments, it's pretty good. However, it is just so bad and ranked that I, I can't justify over B. It's like a second life. Yeah, a second life that gets instantly burnt. Yeah, you you would have to be an insane Winston player to get value from that, from that ult consistently. I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's like possible. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's possible. All right. Next up, Zarya. Grav. B? Um, okay, you know what? I've made my decision, guys. I've made my decision. I think Grav is a D tier. I, I think that ult is so bad. I, I think Grav is just like terrible. Imagine oh with grav. Listen, we're not we're not thinking about combos. We're thinking about how fast it charges, the value it gets, the counter plays, while ranks in tournament play. That's what we're thinking about. I just think grav not only is the radius short for it, but I mean it just gets countered in a million ways. People have gotten so good at countering grav, and then on top of that, grav is so difficult to build. That that that. that not only is that character, like the character sucks, but like the, the, it just takes so long to build it. Why can't we think about counterplay, not co but not combined play? No, I mean like basic counterplay. No, like think, but think about think about how many things like Grav gets countered by. Chat, when was the last time you died to f Grav? Also, that ult for a black hole does no damage. By the way, like that that ult for a black hole does no damage. I'm a Lucio player, so okay. The only thing you can do really that's good with Grav is just solo ult people. And like if he solo, ult you know what? Just because you can solo ult people, let's put it. Let's put a high. Let, let, mm, not high C. Let's put a mid C. Just because you can solo people and get the guaranteed kill. Okay, C tier. That's fine. But nonetheless, that ult gets countered so easily. I would also say that. Yeah, this, this, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. All right, chat. Trance. Trance. Huh? Zenyatta's ults. I want to say high in a, a high A tier. I want to say a high A tier. Is it S tier? I mean, it can go either one, to be honest with you. It gives you, okay, it gives you invulnerability, AOE 300 heals per second, and then on top of that, you can also body block and save yourself with it. It has a lot of playmaking potential, but it, it can't get Suzu'd. The only, and it, it builds pretty fast too. Damn, what does it, yo, wait, there's no, wait, the way, actually, wait, now that I'm thinking about it, wait, a f ton of AOE heals, no counterplay, tons of playmaking potential, and can't get Suzu'd. I think it's a, I think it's the best old yet. Wait, yeah. I think it's literally the best old yet. Because Lucio can get countered. Zen Trance can't. anti nade is a counter? Yeah, it's a counter, I guess. That's true. But not the Zen Yada himself. Zen can get countered. And then he can also just save himself with it too. Chat, is beat or trance better? I think they're like the same. I think they're like the same. They're obviously like slightly different. So they're like slightly situational. But you can't anti-beat. But you can cancel it. I mean, that's true. It is true. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Junker Queen old does hard like gap Zen ult, doesn't it? AOE anti heal versus AOE heal. Hmm. Just be okay. Just because Queen ult exists in the game, I'm gonna bump it down to a, a low S tier. But I still think that with with all the playmaking potential with the with Zenyatta, I still think it's a crazy ult. God, what a conclusion! All right, chat. Next one. Anna, Nano. I, I, I can't see. I actually think Anna 
in low elo is a throw. Because you don't hit... Because, okay, ready, guys? I think Anna in low elo, in low elo, it's just like every Anna player in low elo just misses a billion shots. They never use their abilities correctly. And then on top of that, like, when people get nano, what the f*** are they supposed to do? What, like, what, what, okay, no, what are they realistically going to do? They're just going to sit there and look pretty. I think Anna in low elo might be the one of the worst picks you can do. But in high elo, is a great pick on specific maps. And then with nano? Ah... I think I'm put it right next to Monkey. I think it's safe. Yeah. I mean, like, you basically just turn someone into a raid boss for a little bit. And so, like, like it really depends on, like, what elo you're in. If you're in a shit elo, well, you're going to have a shit raid boss. But if you're in a high elo, you're going to have a raid boss that's good. But at the same time, the enemy team is also going to be good. So, I don't know if I could justify Anna, Nano herself being good. Oh, but to be fair, it doesn't have any counterplay, really. Like, if you nano someone, they're nano. You can't really change that. Like, very rarely does it get canceled. So, actually, wait. Now I'm thinking about it. Is it better than Genji ult? I would say it's better than Genji. Ult. I would say it's better than Farah. Wait, is this old? Wait, maybe this old is insane. Wait, what? Yeah, I would say it's A tier. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I would say I would say A minus or like low 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 A tier. It just really sucks in low low elo. Can build fast. Yeah, it's true. I think that, I think that's a good spot for Anna. I think that's a good spot. Shall we satisfied with A tier for Anna for Nano? All right, guys, we're gonna go for EMP. Is EMP good in low elo? Yes. Is it really good in low elo? Wait, chat. Okay. When I say low elo, I mean like gold and below. It is terrifying in low elo. Is it really? Wait, why? Wait, why is it scary in low elo? Because like they don't. <laughs> I was about to say they barely even use their abilities. They already can't aim, and then they take away their abilities for three seconds. Sombras in low elo will solo EMP the team. Okay, chat. Ready? I think people in low elo just miss their EMPs. Like they just they would just like EMP like across the map. For no reason. I, I think in low elo, I think in low elo, people just suck at using EMP. Like, no, like I've seen low elo players like consistently miss EMP. And it's like, it's bewildering, but there's a reason why they're low elo. It's hard to miss. I, I, I would argue the same, but you know, when there's a will, there's a way. I, I like, I, I don't have to tell you guys. I've seen it happen, but in high elo and tournament play, it's like one of the best ults. Um, I mean, like it's just break shield. It, it breaks shields. You can't use ability for three seconds. Sombra does more damage to anyone that's hacked. It's a crazy ult. Is it better? Okay, wait, let's think about this though. Is it better than Torb? Okay, wait, is it better than Trance? What does Sombra EMP even get countered by? There's no counterplay. Wait, wait, Sombra EMP might be... Wait, no, there is counterplay. The hiding, if, if you hide from EMP and like use beat, then like you can quote unquote counter it. Or if you bait your backline, then trade backlines when they use EMP, but you don't use any ults. That's also a viable option, but it's kind of hard to do that. TP Suzu? Huh, wait, it's Suzuable? Wait a minute. I didn't realize guys, why, why didn't you guys say that sooner? No, I mean like, okay, realistically, I think it's like probably the top of S tier. I mean, it just does so much. There's like, you can't really stop it consistently. I don't know. I think S tier is appropriate, even if it's bad in low elo. I think it's bad in low elo. Lo I'm not a low elo player. I don't know. Maybe it is good in low elo. However, it is just so good in tournaments and high elo that I just can't ignore it. Oh, results! Uh, after the patch, guys. I think Arisa ult, ult is just grav, but better. Arisa ult is like high C, low D. I disagree. I don't think it's high C or low D. I um, I think it's actually a crazy ult. In low elo, it gets insane value. In high elo, it gets insane value. And in tournament play, it gets insane value. Or maybe not high elo. Maybe it gets like medium value in high elo. But nonetheless, across every elo, it gets good value. In tournaments, it gets good value. And the counter play is to shoot it when they have like fortify. Hi, Chang. Not A tier. It can be suzered. No! But you're right. It can be suzered. I gotta drop it down. I gotta drop it down a little bit. Okay, wait. Is it better than Widow? I okay, I would say it's better than Widow. Is it better than Pulse? I think that's a good spot. Yeah, it could be. It could be suzered. <sighs> Yeah, I think it is A tier. It just gets so much value across ranks and tournament play. And then on top of that, it uh, like it is pretty easy to use. It's hard to I mean to play around it's pretty easy, I guess. But if used correctly, it could be just absolutely dominating. Can we do a Twitch plug right now, please? <laughs> guys, YouTube video. Hey, YouTube viewers, if you guys are enjoying the stream, if you guys are enjoying the video, you know, don't be afraid to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash bashman. <laughs> Chat, by the way, if you guys can't notice, I'm getting tired. I might have trolled my sleep schedule a little bit. Either way, guys. Um, next up, Doom Ults. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think the? Where do you think this one goes, guys? Low A. It's the funny run away ability. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's right underneath Lucy Ults. I just. Are you serious? Okay, ready. On a character that is meant 
to be rotating cooldowns. Not only does it rotate cooldowns, it heals, it allows you to reposition, but then it also slams and does good damage. I, th I would automatically say it's great damage if you want to use it for damage. And then when you land on someone, they get slowed. So how should I say this? It's like, imagine, okay, imagine like an MMA fighter stepping into the ring, being the out of, the, out, of, out of like the person they're going against. But then like the second they get hurt, they just like, yep, 15 minute timeout. Let me go get, let me get some water. I'll be back in here. But you stay here. You stay here. You gotta, you, you, you don't get a break. I do. It resets his cooldowns. His cooldowns. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is how it worked. All right. Uh, how it works. But when you're in dual, dual molt, your cooldowns come back two times faster. So if you just stay in dual molt, not only are you healing, but you're resetting your cooldowns basically. It can get suzu'd. But the fact that your cooldowns did not, the fact that your cooldowns have reset does not, like, that that can't get Suzu, you know? Doesn't reset, just makes it faster? Yeah, but if you just stay in Doom ult for four seconds, that's eight seconds of reset. That's essentially resetting your ults. I might be wrong about, like, the multiplier, about how fast it does the thing here, but, you know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep that shit AS, S tier, okay? If you guys wanna argue with me, argue with me in the YouTube comments in the booth, I'll go. Thanks, guys. Cool lessons. Low elo B. Okay, chat, ready? <clears throat> Let's cross off the let's cross off the, the the boxes, okay? In low elo, it's good, right? It does damage. It does a lot of damage and does a lot of healing, right? In low elo, I think it's good. In high elo, right? If you combine the fact that like you have a team, like if you're like if you have your tank walk in with cold lessons, that's amazing, right? If your tank watch it walks in with cold lessons, and then you just like hit like two or three of the enemies at the same time, it can do crazy value. And then in tournament play, cold lessons is a contenders for one Moira right now. Okay. Something that's happening in, in pro play is that there's a big argument about what is the best support in the game right now for Rush. Some people think it's Baptiste, some think, people think it's Kiri, some people think it's Moira. The argument for Moira is that she is the she has the fastest building ult in the game. So imagine you're Baptiste, right? And the enemy team, you are almost get the window, right? You're like 85%. And then the enemy team just three, two, one more like Cole Lessons into you. Cole Lessons is actually, I think, I my personal belief, one of the strongest support abilities in the game or ults. So I think that this ult is somewhere in between. I don't think it's better than Simwall, but I do think it's better than Torvald. Charge time factors into this list? Oh uh, yeah, loosely, loosely, loosely. Not like, we're not like heavily considering it, but like if an ult is especially fast or if an ult is especially slow, we think about that. Chat, does my reasoning, is my reasoning sound? Does my reasoning make sense? And I'm also pretty sure it's pretty good in low elo too. Oh, and it doesn't really get suzu'd, so. Yeah, I think I think I think that spot is pretty good. So far, is the list good? Like like these make sense. Like Blade is better than High Noon. <laughs> Wit Primos is worse than Trance and more than Core. I think all of them make sense. Alright guys, next up though. Shall we begin? I think Moira is placed well. Cold Lessons, strong gold, I think. And builds very, very fast. Brig. Brig is an interesting one. I think Rally builds quite fast. And okay, I think Rally builds fast. And then not only does it build fast, it's like, it. I mean, you can get two AOE stuns within, because, okay, the rally duration, within the rally duration, you can get your shield bass twice. So that means that you can you can stun twice while in rally. And it gives, like, it allows your team to be hyper aggressive, right? The only thing bad about it is that you would rather have a, like, it takes up the Lucio slot, you know? So you don't have speed whenever you push in. So the fact that it doesn't really work in, work in a rush comp kind of makes it worse. But does it get value in low elo? Wait, is, is Rally good in low elo? Wait, is it good in low elo? I actually don't even know. Is it good in low elo? Wait, what? Oh, you know what? You know what I bet? You know what I bet it happens in low elo? I bet the, I bet breaks just like, They'll press Q, rally, and just assume they're invincible, and then just run it down and die. What is low elo? Like, gold. I'm assuming that, like, if low elo players, they just, like, don't understand they can die in rally, and so they just, like, die. You don't even see breaking low elo. That's true? Really? You don't see breaking low elo? Wait, but, like, break is, like, don't need to aim. Do you have, like, you can, you can just bash out if things get scary. You have a shield. It's, like, the most, like, noob-friendly, like, character in the game. Is it really not that often in low elo? If you see Brig, you most likely lose. What? They haven't learned what Inspire is. Wow, that is that is mind-boggling to me. But nonetheless, so Rally sucks in low elo, but it's good in high elo. In tournaments, I think it's kind of shit in tournaments to be honest with you. The best thing I can really think about in tournament play is that like it's good. Okay, Brig is only good into Sigma, right? In tournament play, but even then, it's like eh, situational. And then on top of that, it's like uh, it can either you can either go into Sigs or you can. 
Paul Cage or Anna against like Doom or Winston Muir. It's like, but it's like, you can also just have a Zenyatta at that point. Transfer or Anna, then have Discord on the Winston, that guy just instantly dies. Like, I don't know. I know Brig is good to counter die, but I think there's better options. I mean, Brig essentially just wants to force things into a brawl and Rally really helps with the brawl, but in tournament play, not everything's a brawl, especially if teams are running mirror comps. So like ten, things tend, tend not to be like, I mean, things tend to turn into a brawl, which Brig is good at. However, I think there's other characters that are better. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's... I would say, yeah, something like that. I would say it's better than Grav, but not as good as like a whole hog. I would, I would automatically say hog's better than, than Rally. I would, I would say that. Yeah, all right, next. Ball. <laughs> this all <old> fucks. <laughs> what the f do you do with mines? What the f do you do? Guys, you know this is a crazy fact, guys? This is a crazy fact. You know Doom Slam? The giant AOE that Doom can do like every four seconds. If you do that, if you... Doom Slam can full clear mines. Is okay. I I'm genuinely trying to think. Is mines even good for anything? I mean, you can just shoot the mines. They make sounds as you get close to them. They're super visible. You can mine pile drive combo, but nowadays that doesn't really even get kills. Good for spawn camping bronze players. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> you know what? Just because you can spawn camp bronze players, right? Or people in low elo just randomly run into it i'm a, i'm inclined to put it into d tier however that shit guys if you die to mines in this year re reconsider playing the game guys there are abilities there are b tier abilities that are better than mines all right guys ready next up ash i mean it's just bob right bob is the goat you know what chat i think i might have found like contender for worst ultimate in the game i think maybe this ult is Wait, no, in low elo, it's so good though. Oh my God, low elo. Guys. Yeah, dude, I forget, dude. Silver players just like, they, they like they try to give Bob a hug, man. I forget. Like they just die to Bob. I forget, dude. Oh my God. This ult is just so bad. He's good for making space. I mean, I guess he could also like, for he could like force point and stuff, but like just shoot him, lol. He like, he stands still. He has a head box. He just takes a, a million bajillion damage. At least Bob won't miss though. That's not even true. Bob misses. Do you guys know this? Bob misses. Do you guys know this? Bob misses. Yeah, Bob, he, he can miss. If you put him medium range, he starts missing. Yeah, Bob misses. Yeah, I'll be, okay. Just because, low, okay, maybe this maybe this ult is amazing in low elo. That's completely possible. And you can use the ult as like kind of like an anti-dive like ult. Okay, I understand all that. However, it has a blatant issue of just f***ing shoot it. It's a standing still robot. Just shoot it. I think it's better than Shatter. I would say I was better. I would say it's better than all these. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, I would say that. All right, there we go. That looks better now. I I would say that's about right. I think that ult sucks. All right, chat. Next up, Baptiste Window. Window. It's an S tier, but it's a matter of where an S tier. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, well, let's, let's ask some questions. Chat. Is it good in low elo? Okay, I, it's good in high elo. It's amazing in tournament play. Can't get Suzu'd. It's really good in low elo. Why, why is it Why is it good in low elo? <laughs> Do people just fucking wide peek that window and be like, the, the, the eek was thinking they're gonna get like kill the people behind the window or what? Cause no one hides. <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, people don't know how to use windows. So they're just like, fucking just like plop it down somewhere. It, it's a hard ult to use. Don't get me wrong. I mean, to be honest with you, I see a lot of Baptiste in low elo and I see a lot of random ass window kills in low elo. So you know what? I'm kind of inclined to say that it's pretty good in low elo, actually. They full charge window, of course. Do you ever think like, <laughs> like I can imagine bro, like I can imagine like a low elo Reinhardt player, like he gets a window just plopped down at his face and the, the low elo Reinhardt player is like, yep, this is a good time to charge. <laughs> I can, I can see it, bro. I can imagine that. Low elo players are playing the game for honor when they fight against the window. Hey, yeah. All right, chat. You know what? Is it better than Coalescence? I would say Coalescence is better. I would say Coalescence is better, but not. But I think Torb Torbal is worse than Window. So, yeah, that looked good. I would say it's good. I think that's good. Yeah. All right, that's good. Next up, Sigma. Sigma. Oh, Sigma ult. Okay, chat. It has a really big AoE. So in low elo, it's really hard to miss. And once you hit it, it's guaranteed damage. Wait, guys. Okay, so not only does it do 50% of any max HP, right? It's an AoE, so it can hit the whole team. It charges quite fast because Sigma does a lot of damage. And then on top of that, it can combo with other people if they if needed. It does great in low elo, high elo, and tournament play. But it's suzuable. But you can suzu it. Cosmetic. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Reality though. Is it better than Widow Walls? Yes. Better than Arissa? I would say it better than Pulse. Unfortunately, better than Reapers. I would say it's, I would say it's worse than Trance. I would say it's worse than Trance and Torbolt. So I'm thinking it's right there. I think Torbolt's insane. Put it first in A. You're right. This, the, 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 this category is getting a little bit long. Let's put it in A tier then. All right, I'll put an A tier, but it's like a high A, okay? By the way, chat for those that are wondering, these are in like, it, within the graph, within the tiers themselves, they are like actually like, ass like assorted correctly, by the way. Uh, next up, Echo. Echo ult. Okay, wait. Obviously in high elo, it's amazing. However, in tournament play, hmm. What about, okay, chat, how was, how was, how was copy in low elo? Is horrendous, but how? How is it ever bad in low elo? They get melted immediately. Copy tanks do no damage die. <laughs> of course. Of course, yeah. No, I forget. In low elo, if the value isn't just immediately given to, it just it just sucks. I forget. They choose a hero. They don't really know how to play. Yeah, that does sound about right, to be honest with you. Okay, but in turn and play in high elo, it's really good. So, like, it's really hard to say it's, like, low, you know? Okay, Chad, I have a question. Do we make Twitter mad? Chad, do we make Twitter mad or no? Yes. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that Rip Tire is better than the <laughs> copy. It just gives crazy amount of space versus Echo, which, yes, it can, Echo can do, can do very... Echo, co Echo copy can do very good in high elo. However, the, guarantee, the value is not guaranteed on, like, with Tire. And then in tournament play, again, Echo copy is good, but I don't think it can provide as much value as good Junkrat tires. I just don't think it, it, like good Junkrat players have really commonly go into tournaments. I think the space that like Junkrat tire, matter of fact, no, I'm redoing this TLRs a little bit. Junkrat, you can go up to there. I think I think tires better than Pulse Bomb. I think tires better than Pulse Bomb and Orisa Ult and Widow and Boot and no. Matter of fact, I think it's better than Cole. Wait, is Junkrat tire one of the best? The wait, it's just so good. Uh, it's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. It's like somewhere here. It's like okay, we'll we'll figure it out later. It's somewhere there though. It's somewhere there though. No, guys, the one shot capability, the the cooldown bait, and the fact that it creates a f ton of space is insane. You can't get that 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 type of ult doesn't exist anywhere else. I, I don't give a f it doesn't matter. Okay, that looks about right though. I, I I think I think okay. Hey everyone, back to back to the echo. All right, I think that it being in the B tier is good. I always, I always had to fight chat. Is copy B tier? She can copy tire. All right, get a hell. Chat, next up, Sojo ult. Okay, I don't, I don't even need to ask. This I know this ult's terrible in the low elo. I just know this. Dude, it was crazy to me. Doesn't Sojo have like a 45% win rate in like low elo? A cosmetic is <laughs> low elo. Low elo, Sojo ult, terrible. But high elo, Sojo is like literally one of the best ults in the game. Mind blowing the polarity between those two options, by the way. By the way, the polarity is crazy. Then in tournament play, it's just as good. It is insane. So, chat, is it better than Doomfist? Okay, where in between which two heroes is it? Or is it this the best? I don't I don't think it's better than EMP. I think it's I don't think it's better than Beats. I think it's somewhere around Doomfist. I think Simwall is better than No, I would say Sim and Soj is about the same. The only problem with Soj ult is that it gets its value immediately negated by any tank cooldown. So then I think Sim wall is better than Soj ult. The biggest like independent, like the biggest things about like Sim ult, uh, the, about Sim ult and Soul and Sojourn ult is that like the Sojourn ult can get it's, it can get more value from than Sim wall for sure. But the, also at the same time, it's like it could also get less value because of things like Winston bubble, right? But a wall is a wall. No matter what happens inside the game that ult can still get the same amount of value. So this is just because of the consistency, I, I keep it a little bit higher. Oh yeah, and so it can be consistent. Oh wait, wait guys, I didn't realize. Overclock can get Suzu'd? <laughs> why, why didn't you guys tell me sooner? I love this trend, yep. All right guys, I think that's about right. All right chat, listen up. We're actually to the last seven heroes. I see some ones that are gonna be very polarizing and um, I'm very excited to discuss about this and get flamed. For my opinions here. Are right, you guys ready? Junker Queen. Okay, chat. Low elo and high elo. I think I think Queen's like kind of mid tier. It's like I mean, it's like it's a scary ult, but has a lot of like you can deal with it in a lot of different ways. Also, at the end of the day, you can just it's really easy to stun or block. So like to be honest with you, it's kind of shit in low elo. But in low elo chat, I don't know. Is 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 Queen ult good in low elo? It misses or hits a wall. <laughs> of course, of course. Of course it hits a wall. Why wouldn't it? You know what? I think it happens in low elo. I bet I bet what happens in low elo is that queen ults. They, they, they're, 
I bet I bet you that Queens and low elo, they just ult into the middle of the enemy team and then just like expect to be able to 1v9 because they have like a little bit of health regen. But in reality, they, they go in and just get blown up. The amount of Junker Queens that probably go off the map, I didn't even realize that. In high elo, it's pretty good. It's just, you know, it's just eh. It's just like, eh. Oh, so. Eh. All right, Shai, here we go. Kiri. Kitsune. It's like not even a question. I mean, in low elo, I don't know how they use Kitsune. What I imagine they do in low elo is they just accidentally throw it into a wall. That's what I'm assuming that happens in low elo with Kitsune. Is it OP in low elo? Is it? I have no idea. Just gets dropped on cart most of the time. Yeah. And gets canceled out. Yeah. Are you insane? Why is Reaper in B tier? He has two big guns. Two big guns. I don't know. I think Kitsune is just like, I, okay. I think like no matter where you go, I think it'll, it'll always be a good old. Um, yeah. I just don't, I, I just think no matter where you go, it's just a good old. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my mouse just died. Yeah, I think I think I think Kiri is somewhere S tier, but where in S tier? You know what? To be honest with you, because it charges so fast, I think it's better than Beat. I think that Kiri, oh, might be big, it might be better than Beat, because it's just such a good engagement tool in tournaments. And then in low elo, how do how do you mess up Kitsune? You just put it down, and then just like stand at it, and then you just like. All right, chat. Or matcha ult in low elo. I think this shit is broken in low elo. You just stand there, right, on points, and everyone gets scared. Everyone is so scared of ramble in low elo, they just die. In high elo, you can do this really cool thing that I see like a lot of good ram players do. They go punchy, 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 punchy mode, right? And then after the punchy, punchy mode's over, boom, they ram ult, get more punchy, 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 punchy mode. And then after the ult, it's over, their punchy, punchy mode has come off cooldown. And so they get, keep on punching, punching. That rotation cycle is just so strong in high elo. It works not only in high elo, but also tournament play. So, unironically, the fact that it recycle that it cycles his cooldowns again is really strong, but the actual damage from Rammel isn't that insane. It's, the damage is mainly from the fact that he punches. We are thinking, me thinking really hard. I think Junkrat's okay. I think Junkrat's ult's better. I think it's just the same level as Torbolt's. I think it's the same level as Torbolt. Wait, I need it. All right. Uh, ult. Are we all satisfied with it being S tier? Um, you look tall today. Yeah. All right. Um, Life Weaver. Man, just fing. Yo, oh, man. Dude, this ult sucks, dude. S and low elo, it's cosmetic, though. It's funny because you can trap low elo players in spot. <laughs> you guys are assholes. Why do you see you guys come up with such good ideas on how to bully low elo players? I know Life Weaver ult. Right. I know in low elo it's good. However, the thing about tree is that you have to stand next to it. Right? And I I don't know if low elo players are capable of that type of thought, you know? Also, like low elo players, like when they place down tree, they probably just like toss it across the map on accident. In in pro play it sucks. In high ranked it's kind of ass in low elo it's people don't know how to use it and at the end of the day you can just shoot the tree with a lot of damage and it breaks like you can take it out easily with a with a with one turret or with window or with whole hog you know or diva yeah i think this ult might be cosmetic i mean also when it heals it doesn't even heal that much all right guys alari ult i'm pretty sure this is cosmetic too i think alari ult is just like terrible i mean it can get cleansed. You, I mean, you can miss. If you hit people, they can just LOS you and then they, it doesn't set off. I mean, when you use it, it pops you into the air. And then like, if the enemy team just like, they, they can just shoot you when you're in the air. I think it's also cosmetic. Is it good in low elo? I, I can't see it being good in low elo either though. Alari sucks in low elo. Okay, Alari just sucks in general. But like specifically the old, I don't know. I just, okay, maybe, maybe okay, I'm not a low elo player, but like... I just can't see it being good in like low elo player hands. I'm sure they hit, okay, guys, I'm sure, I'm sure when the Lari ult hits, I'm sure it's massive in low elo, but it has to hit. And <laughs> I think low elo players might throw that shit against the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it there, I think. Next up, Cage. Cage is pretty good. I think low elo, I think in low elo, it's good because they just like low elo players were just like trying to help their teammates inside the cage. And so they will just, 
hop inside the cage themselves and get themselves killed. And then like cage can make plays. If you're smart, just ult the tank and one clip them. You know, okay, my friend, uh, my roommate, he is literally a MAGA one trick, right? He loves MAGA, he hit rank one of MAGA. What he does is that if the enemy team has a Genji, he just solo ults them. Because he literally, every time he sees a Genji enemy team, he has ult, he just slaps that shit down. I agree that cage gets EMP'd. However, trading EMP, that's literally the best ult right here. Is literally, we, we have put, EMP is the best ult. If you can trade EMP for Cage, that proves that Cage is quite strong. I... Oof, 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 oof. I'll say there. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I know, I would say, okay, the only drawback about Cage is that it takes a long time to build. Like, a long time. Like, you can typically get two coalescences within one Cage. All right, chat, we got one last one. What you put Bastion at, chat? Go ahead and give it a guess what I think Bastion's at. I already have it. I, guys, don't worry. I have so many hours playing with Bastion ults. If there's anyone here that knows Bastion ult better, if, if, if there's anyone here that knows Bastion ult, it's me. All right, guys, cosmetic. I think it's better than mines. I think it's better than, than Shatter. I think it's better than High Noon. I think it's better than Bob. Is it? Nope, never mind. it's the worst ult in the game. I can't like, no, no, it's worse than Valk for sure. I think, um, is it worse than, wait, is it worse than Valk? Oh my God, which, wait, which one of these ults are the worst? Okay, wait, wait, in low elo, it's fucking OP, right? In low elo, this ult's fucking OP. I mean, God damn it, the low elo players are basically standing still. But in high elo, it gets, it just does nothing. Not even low elo, not even low elo players die to it, is this true? No way, right? Stop it, I don't like this game. Aren't you in low elo? Okay. I want to say low you I mean like silver guys. Chan, you know what's crazy? You guys know the um the Bastion ult bug where you can just ult infinitely? You know what's a crazy thought? There were times where I would use that, I would I would abuse that bug, right? And just like raining down thousands of bastion ults, and I wouldn't even get a kill. I could only randomly use 30 bastion ults and not get a single kill. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, this is the worst ult in the game. Wait, yeah, I'm actually just like, oh wait, I'm actually so down to call it the worst ult in the game. Can we all agree that Bastion ult is the worst ult in the game? I think that this ult is literally worse than Valk. No, nope, I'll be honest with you guys, I can't think of it. I, I, no, I'm actually sad. Okay, am I biased? No, I'm not biased. Fuck you guys. I think Bastion ult is just the worst ult in the game, and I'm originally going to leave it that. All right, guys. All right, guys. You know what? Let's just look. Let's just make sure we know this too. EMP. Can we all call EMP the best ult in the game? Can we agree that EMP is the best ult in the game? And then can we agree that Bastion ult is the worst ult in the game? If we, guys, if we got those two, then, you know, everything in between, hey, it might be wrong, but, you know, we got the, we got the, we got the most polar, the most polar ends, right? So, you know, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finalize that list. Okay, right. chat. If you truly had WRiz, you'd click on this video right here.